thank you for purchasing one of our Unity RAW DMX plus ILDA lasers. In this setup video, we're going to show you how to set up your RAW DMX laser for DMX control as quickly as possible. The first thing we're going to do is mount the laser and insert the power cable, DMX cable, e-stop, and the interlock key. Note that we use 3-pin XLR for our e-stop cables and 5-pin for DMX in accordance with the true DMX standard. If you have more lasers you want to daisy chain, simply connect the power, DMX, and e-stop outputs to the next laser's inputs. Next, using this rotary encoder, we're going to scroll down the menu structure until we get to the laser setup menu and press the knob in to enter it. You should now see the laser outputting a test pattern. This test pattern shows the maximum area that the laser will be able to scan with respect to the height and the width of the laser zone. Then, using the size knob and the physical positioning of the laser, Position your zone safely following this 3 meter rule. If you haven't already, please watch our safety video for more details on how to safely set up your laser projector. Once the zone is where you want it, tighten everything down, ensuring that it won't move. Now that we're done setting up the laser zone, we're going to exit the laser setup menu and go into the channel setup menu. Here, we have two options. Normal mode, which uses up 10 channels, and expert mode, using up 34. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be using the 10 channel mode. Once we've set the channel mode, we'll scroll down to the address setup menu. Here is where we will set the DMX address of each laser we're using. Because we're using the 10 channel mode, we'll set this first laser's address to one, then the next laser to 11, then 21, and so forth. Coming back to the console, let's now patch these in. Please refer to the manual for the channel layouts of each of the parameters if you want to make your own fixture profile for your console. I've already made a simple 10 channel profile for this MA command wing and it will be available to download from the wiki, as will be any future ones that we release. First, we'll go into our patching and fixture schedule and import our fixtures. Then, we'll add a quantity, assign a fixture ID, specify the start address of the first laser, and then save changes. Now that we've patched our fixtures, we should be able to control them just like the rest of our lighting fixtures in the rig. Just bring up the dimmer, select the gobo, color, and apply whatever effects are available to you in your console's effects engine. If you're having trouble getting your laser to output, check that your DMX patch is correct or that your e-stop is disengaged and your keys are inserted and in into the on position. Thank you for watching our tutorial on our raw DMX plus ILDA laser projector. If you have any questions, please make sure to check out our wiki at wiki.pangolin.com or email us at support at pangolin.com.